looks like this one might. I mean, that's a pretty good fit, actually. Welcome to the Church Channel. My name is Kalechi, and uh, today I'm going to be covering um, a screen protector for the dash. Um, I looked online um, several places in addition to Amazon. Uh, there are a few places that are selling um, screen protectors for the uh, infotainment system here. A couple of them didn't match, um, so I ended up taking a gamble on one of them. Um, and so this one looks like it might fit. Um, I also, on one of my videos for PPF, I also talked about possibly covering that with PPF. And so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna show you guys uh, kind of what it looks like. Um, I haven't put the PPF on it, but I think I might test out the screen protector. It looks like it might fit. So here it is. This is kind of how it came. This is a screen protector um, that came for the 12-inch screen I bought from Amazon. I did talk about a cutout that I have. Um, I used the... Uh, kind of see here there's a little film that's on here already that came from the factory i took that off and uh cut out this piece right here um expel ppf ultimate 10 and so that also fits but before i do that um i want to see if this thing is going to fit so it's pretty much just came in an envelope let's see what's inside Right, took that off. What is this? Installation auxiliary tools. Looks like a wipe, but we'll see what that is later. This might came with another one of the same thing. Uh, the uh, screen protector. Set that down there. I set these up here for now. Let's see what else is in here. Is that it? Just one more thing in there. Just get that out. It seems like it's stuck at the bottom. There's one more thing in here. I think it's a squeegee. Huh. Looks like it give you a little cardboard squeegee. I guess it's squeegee out any bubbles that form on there. So, just a quick look at it. It looks like it might fit. I know there's some folks that are selling the F-150 uh, screen protectors on Amazon. A couple of folks bought it and it did not fit. It looks like this one might. I mean, that's a pretty good fit actually. So I think I'm gonna go with that. It even has the curved edges right there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that up. That looks pretty, that looks like it fits perfectly. And this thing is supposed to be uh, oleophobic. I think that's how you say that. <laughs> and so that should help. So I opened this up and I haven't seen this before. It says dust removal sticker. So I guess if you have a lot of dust on there, you can use that and just, I guess, stick that on there and then peel it off. I'm assuming that's how that works. Um, but in this same pack, um, Came with a wipe paper, and then there's a little cloth in there. Um, so, there you go. As this is brand new, I don't think I'm going to have to do anything with the uh, dust removal sticker. So, I mean, that's kind of a nice package, and I guess that's nice that you put that in there. Um, there are actually two of them. So, hmm, I'll keep that as a spare, I guess put that in the glove compartment comes with a little tape at the end you can pull those and then stick um, I need to make sure I'm actually sticking the right end on here okay so the tape is on the this uh, orange tape is on the non sticky end so this top piece right here is what goes on the screen because um, that is sticky on the other side all right so I finally got it down I had to read I had to take it off and put it back on the perfectionist to me couldn't let it be. The reason I took it off is because when I put it on the first time, a little piece of the film was on this little black piece right here, and it just it was just bugging me. So I took it off, put it back on. But when I did that, after that, then I, I squeegeed with this little squeegee thing, right? 
But after I did that, um, when I was trying to take it off, I noticed that there's another film layer on the outside. So I took off the inner film layer, which is which is this piece right here. But then now that I'm done squeegeeing out, I'm gonna take off the outer layer. Um, and so let's see here if I can grab onto it without taking off the film. One extinction event later. See what I'm doing right there. There you go. There you go. So it looks pretty nice. Um, you know, I protect the screen. I do have, you know, the little cutout I made. I'm just gonna keep that just in case. But I'll put a link in the description for what I, for the film uh, that I use for this. Hopefully it's helped you out to kind of decide on what you want to get. Um, it's not, you know, tampered glass or anything. But again, I didn't want, you know, finger prints on there. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, my uh, my dash cam is voice is voice activated. I made a video on it. So if you guys need a dash cam for your Bronco, just check out the video. So yeah, like and subscribe, and um, I'm looking forward to more videos. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye. All right. So I was cleaning things up, and I noticed another film in here. <laughs> Um, so it actually comes with two films. Um, huh. I didn't know that. <laughs> um, I was, uh, I was trying to wrap up and clean up after I made the video. Uh, I put in my, uh, the PPF I cut out in here. I was trying to save that in this little, um, envelope it came with. But then I noticed there was another one in there. So I guess you get two films in there in case you mess up with one, you can put the other one on. Or, you know, if that one gets scratched up, just put the second one on. So you get two. And maybe that's why, that's why he came with two of these things, I guess. Makes sense, huh? <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.